it again. Okay, zip tied this conduit over here, the wiring harness. You can see the bolt heads right here. Yep. So now we got clearance. And you're stuck to get your bolt out here pretty easy. You gotta be careful about dragging across, but as long as you don't beat it in and out, you should be okay on this. Yeah. And because I don't I didn't want to go across the top of the bolt head. And I didn't want to try to jam it on the in, in the middle over here. It might get mm -hmm. pinched and all this and it's going up and down. Okay. So this is in a free spot. So it's pretty well tied in. Everything else should be good just with gravity. So now I'll go zip tied up here. We'll get this harness up to here where we want it to be at. Looks like we came up just short of what we needed. Did you measure that or I measure it? I measured it. Oh, okay. It was my slanted eyes. You said it was long enough? Yeah, it was my slanted and eyes. You said it was enough money. Yeah, yeah, it's enough money. <laughs> sure. I'm going to be paying for this for the next five years. I need to come back down here and work for NASCO again. Hey, this is a tune up here. You heard anything about NASCAR? <coughs> uh, On the radio and TV? No, I don't listen to that crap. I wonder what they're doing. Uh, making money. He called me about a year ago, uh, wanted to know if I wanted to come to work. And I told him, yeah, and then uh, he never called me back. Well, maybe that's your first sign they want you. Yeah. Okay, the condo came a little short there for the zip tie to work, but it's okay. That's what we make wiring for, right? Yeah. So that was an inferior uh, layout before cutting. Right. Missed it by half an inch. Half an inch. That was pretty close. That's okay. And yeah, we don't need anything in here because it's, it's pretty good. <clears throat> I still don't know what this wire is for yet. We haven't got this for yet. I think this is for the horn. I don't know. Or what the headlight. I don't care. What I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to go like this with it. Yeah, I know what you're going to do. You're going to pull it all out. There. I don't have to worry about it. Oh. It's extra parts. We don't need that right now. Okay. We do need a CD light. This is our speedometer wire. We need to have a speedometer light, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, now I get to wire the switch. We got a couple nuts that we're laying right here. They're right here. They're right here. Okay. Right here. Oh, those two, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we need the bigger locks so it's next to it. Because you don't have any locks. Yep. I don't know why all your nuts have no locks on them. Oh well. This isn't exactly very tightly. Yeah, I don't know how, what happened there. Yeah, it's kind of kind of low torque. Okay. So you remember what your big wire was? Hot. Yeah, which one was the big one though? One on the right. Now if you cut the wrong one, you know we have a problem. That's the hot wire right there. It looks like a hot wire. Yep. Let's see, if you cut the wrong one, it'll be too short. Don't do that. Because this one goes to your idiot light. Right. You know where your idiot light is? Right here. The one we haven't hooked up yet? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> That'd be our generator light. You got it in there, don't you? Yeah, that's the generator light. Yeah, that's our generator. I think I might cut it maybe up here where all these splices are up. See how, see how good these splices were? See, these are just crimped together now. They yeah. have the turd sticking in there like I have. Yeah. So you got a little titty in there to really get a good crimp. Instead of those ones are like that. Yeah. Those are just a pair of pliers. So you just going to go like that. You know, I'll put that in your collector additional garbage can down there for you. <laughs> of course, here's some more of that zip tie, or I mean that shrink tube you bought. Yeah, now we're down to just one thing. I'll clean the bulb off for you too, it's full of dirt. Now you might be able to see with it. <clears throat> okay, so we know we have to go at least to here. So that means if we go like this long, we should have enough room, right? All right. Boom. There's two of them done. Okay, now we gotta figure out which one's which. I'm thinking that this big one right here might be the big one. Yeah, the one on the right. That's the hot wire, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the other way of telling is the... Actually, I did that. What did I do wrong? I think I just did something wrong. What am I doing? No, this is going to the battery. That's correct. Here's your cheat sheet. Yeah. I'm tired. This is our generator one, it's this one here. It's 
So you get all kinds of shit on my cheat sheet. 12 volt battery, no color, see. <laughs> we got red for idiot light, we already knew that. That's the light one. Yeah, we got blue that goes to your battery also, which is this one. That goes to the circuit breaker right there. So two of these go in the same spot. And then cut this off the same length. Boom. Another wire out of the way. So I'm just getting these wires out of my way. Yeah, we're going to fall to the ground as we don't use them. This ratness is going away, see? Okay. <coughs> What's left? Okay. Let me get these other ones now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put these, all three of these, I'm going to go through here. We're going to take available zip ties for free. The only disadvantage of this method is, is that's a sharp edge back there, so I don't like that. Cancel that idea, bad idea. See that uh, circuit breaker got a big bracket on there? Yeah, cut it, it off. And yeah. the sharp edge is like crazy. So we do not want to do that. We do want to get these to the inside though. <clears throat> now if I didn't already put that coil wire down there, I could have checked this for power, but too late now. But we have a battery problem. There's my meter. Okay. And so all we do, we go to the positive terminal on the battery, which is where the red wire goes to. And they're both hot. Look at that. It doesn't help us any, do it? No. It must be wired the same spot underneath the cover over there. So that didn't work. Oh, I know why it's hot because it's going to ground. No, that's green. What's the other red wire going to? I forget. Do you want to take this off? Oh, it goes to the, over to here. This is on here. But it might be why it went off. No, it's not connected. You know, just pull that out of there. Don't leave it like that. Okay. We're on the ground. It goes right to here. Just your light. No, it actually goes over there. It's hard to get to. Damn it. Nothing easy to get to around here. That's the red wire? Yeah. That's where it winds up going to. Anyway. See, that's why you don't put the coil on until after you do everything. That's why I can't see. We got that one. Out. We got a lot more room now. Yeah. You didn't want to watch this thing just melt when we fire it up? Yeah. Washers, though. I don't know. It's a good washer. Too. Another washer. Nope, that's an eyelet. Is that an eyelet? That's the one we just disconnected. Ooh. Whatever's getting me again. Whatever doesn't like me. Alright, it's gonna go beep beep now. Yeah? Yeah. No beep. Beep 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 beep. No beep. Okay. This is our hot wire. Yeah. That's 18 gauge. It looked like it's her 20 gauge. No, it's bigger. Uh, Not much. I don't think so. Mm. I mean, it's cheap wire, so it's hard to tell the difference. They both look like crap. They're supposed to be 18 or 16 gauge, but they don't look like it. Okay, these two here go to that terminal right there. So I can be cheap, put one terminal on it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Yeah, go ahead and do it. It'd be a lot easier. Nope. Yeah? As soon as I do that, I'll have to disconnect one of those wires. 
Yeah, I know it. Then we had to disconnect one, you had to disconnect them both and cut it loose again, huh? Yep, have to cut them both. Yeah. So it's going to cut these to go backwards like that. <clears throat> Where's Fred at? He got to go to work tomorrow? Probably. Yeah, I don't think this wire is 16 gauge like it says it is. What do you think it is? 18? Yeah. It is the bigger number, the bigger the numbers, the smaller it is? Yep. Cheaper it is. I think I would just loose the goose on that big ass terminal. Fold it. I think they're being cheap on their wire lying again. They're lying about it? Yep. <clears throat> this is my cheap wire. You don't want to have the good stuff. So. How did you know that this wire was going all the way down to here? You just remembered that? I look at my cheat sheet down here. Oh, and cheat sheet's got it up there. Right yeah. You have to look at cheat sheet. When you look at it, it doesn't tell you. You have to look at the camera. See how it says red light? Yep. yep. Oh, and it goes to the... Uh, <coughs> okay, I see it goes to... You get the relay marked there. Get the relay drawn there. So you look over here. This yep. wire here. Yep. Camera. This wire goes to your armature over there. Generator. Right. So this one here's on its left. It goes in the harness. It goes up there. Okay. So... Then we checked it. It came right off the battery terminal, which is... Not connected to anything, so it should just be a hot wire. That damn foot peg and kicker and everything else wraps to wires. How that does that? So this one should not beep. And this one will. Yeah, I saw the. I saw the hobby. Now, once I hook that wire back up, it will actually be going. It'll be connected and it'll start beeping again. Is it supposed to? It's connected to the system. Okay. Through the through here. Right. We said it's supposed to ge generate the whole system. Yeah, so it, it goes through. So it gives me a fault re false reading when I was trying to do that. Kind of trying to confuse you, huh? Yeah, it was trying to confuse me. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put these on the other side over here. Now these are our input wires. I'm alright. You alright? Made it worse, huh? That's good. It doesn't matter. I'm all right. This is basically the battery here because it goes right directly down to the battery. This post they, they cut off for you real short. Yeah, hard to get back on, huh? Now we're a little bit on the short side because we put more than one wire on there. And we put a lock washer on it. So now your post is too short. So I gotta see if it's got enough here to grab a hold of or we're gonna have to do something else. Give me that tool and tie it up. Yeah, it soaked up a little bit. Still didn't give you much to hold with, but that's enough. It's flush. Not quite. But I got a lock washer on, so I won't unscrew. Okay, so basically this is our battery terminal because it's that wire goes right to our battery. So the generator charges, it charges up your battery. Right. It's not going through the breaker. If you go through the breaker, then you rely on the breaker to transfer the power to the battery, which usually means it doesn't charge very well. Okay. So you never do that. Okay, now we go from here up to our ignition switch with the hot wire, mm -hmm. and that'll power up the ignition switch. Okay. And we have our breaker protection right here on the whole circuit. Okay. Now we have to go to this back terminal right here, according to that video I looked at, my 98 inch shovel head video, because I just did one of these switches, I couldn't remember how I did it. So that means when we're on ignition, it should be over here, and this is yeah. dead, Yeah. and we have lights, bad connection but it's there. The light? That's your light switch, and this one should still be on. Hear it? Yep. Okay. So this is where the hot wire goes from the battery. Okay. And then we'll hook all the ignition stuff over here, and all the light stuff over here. Yeah, one hot wire. Yeah, so you got a lot of terminals going on these little chicken shit wires. 
So you got, when I do the bike, I put circuit breakers under here. I run a hot wire right to the switch, and then I go to the switch with full power, and then I break up into two breakers, one for light, one for ignition. I can use a whole post to put stuff on. Okay. But that's not how you did it, so. So we're just gonna do it the way you're doing it. You don't have as many circuits to do here, so it should be all right. Okay. Make it a little busy, but we should have enough room. Okay, so right now we need to, we'll have to make a hot wire from here to here. So I'll get some red for that. So we just have to have some red down here. It even says it's 16 gauge on it. Does it? Yeah, see it says it there and there. Yeah. I knew they won't lie, even though it looks like they're lying to your teeth. <laughs> see, you're not watching what I'm doing when I talk. See, 16, 16. Okay. So you have to follow what I'm working on. I know, I can keep on keep holding it on the side. Your, your eyeballs work, but your camera doesn't yeah. work. Okay, so now we're going to go through this terminal here, which is pretty easy to do. And then we got to find the screw that goes on that. It's right there. Okay. So I need to get me a little terminal for this. Lots of terminals. Get this stuff out of the way. So that's about a number six, probably. Six. Where are you getting all your uh, connectors at? Uh, these keep Pumpkin doesn't have any more. This is Gardner Westcott. Hmm. They quit selling the terminals. Here's the Perfect. correct one. Perfect. Now this is the red, which is for smaller wire, but seeing I think they're cheating. And yeah, we're going to need as much room up on the switch as we can get. Actually, on this one here, we could probably use the blue because we'll have room. So you got two boxes, one blue, one red. Number six blue. The blue is for 16, 14, 16. The red is for 16 or 18 and 20. Okay, there's that one. Okay, just up over here somewhere on the way. Okay. I'm going to, I think I just pop down to here. Not sure how I'm going to do all that. I'm getting kind of busy through here. Oh, that was wrong. Made another mistake. Yep, that goes there. These terminals are too big to really get in here very well. I think I can go this direction, straight down. You should have a lot of room in your gas tank. Cut you off. Hello? Is that a big one or a small one? Actually, I need some big ones. I got, I got all three of these? Is that too small? Yeah, it's quarter inch. Okay, we can get them right out of here. Hold on for a while. Okay. Okay. All right. We got a few things done. We do a few more. I'm gonna get a lock over here. Okay. I don't know where I left off. Anyway, I got that wired. <laughs> It's wired, huh? Yeah, this is our... I might get pushed down. I didn't push that down, did I? Okay, this is our uh, jumper wire here for our... coming up to our switch to power it. It's our hot wire. Then on the other side, we got a, a white wire. Let's look up over there. Yeah, that's not going to help, Dan. No. That's a complete blur. So we got our hot wire right here for okay. the ignition wire. Okay. We had to get seven wires on that post, so that wasn't going to work, so we just got one. And now we got a circuit breaker over here on this side. 
So we got a circuit breaker right here. So now we have plenty of room to put seven wires. Right there's a circuit breaker. All right. Yeah, pull back on that. Too close. There you go. Get some perspective. Okay. Uh, here. We also traced where the headlight wire and uh, the stuff going front isn't a horn. This is all horn here. So we know what we're going to do with the rest of the wire also. What are they working on? I already forgot. Jumper wire. Working on a jumper wire. So this gives me a circuit breaker for the lighting, I mean for the ignition circuit only. This is a 15 amp circuit breaker. So this goes right there. And wire. So this just has one wire connected to the side. This is our input wire. You're only putting one wire on that one? Yeah. Where do all the other wires go? On the other post? Yep. I said you didn't have any money, so I could have four to put wires on both posts. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I don't know how this wrench works. Oh, well, that's not a 3 8 so that's why it doesn't work. Helps you get the right size wrench. Makes a big difference. Oh, that's a huge difference, Dan. Yeah. Remember that, use the correct wrench. Right. So all the other wires go on another post? Yes. Okay, I see. So this, comes, this is the ignition switch, basically. It just comes off the switch up on the other side over here. Yep. Comes down the white wire, plugged into our circuit breaker. The white wire, that charges that one. So now that's completely, so when you turn to go on one position like that, this it's thing's charged. Armed. Yep. This one's on full time because it's on the battery. Right. That powers the switch. When you go like that, that powers this powers one. Power. When you go to lights, we'll, powers everything. We're going to go off the light switch up on top here. This wire up on top. Okay. Can you see my finger up there? This is going to be where our lights are. We only got three wires to hook up to that. So Perfect. We can put three on one post. Perfect. So that's where that's going to be. Okay, this one here has already got the correct size terminal. It goes right there. Got a little extra wire in here to deal with. To loop it up. Do something with it. Jam it in here. Do like the other guy. Jam it all up in there in a big wad. Yeah. There. Dan likes wads. Yeah, I like wads. There we go. Where's my screwdriver at? Doesn't want to go down all the way. Oh, jeez. You did that wrong. Bottomed out. Gotta go the other way. Yeah, I gotta get back out. Let me jam it all in there. I gotta flip it around so you gotta go. Uh, a twist in it like that. Now it goes all the way down. See, we just poke yep. that back there someplace. Okay. I can't see this on the other side of the bike, so it must be fine. Now this is the ground wire, right? And this is our ground wire. And that's for the horn, right? For the horn. So we're okay. going to put a post right down off of here. So we've got a hot wire for the horn on the circuit breaker, and we're putting a ground wire on the dash for the ground. Right, we've got this bolt right here that you dug out for yeah. me. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bolt right through the top like that. I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. Okay. I don't want to have quite that much wire hanging out. I'm figuring that we probably don't need any more than about maybe that much. Okay. That should be like five times more than you need already. So maybe a little bit shorter. I'll go that can we reuse that end? Yeah, here, you can use this. <laughs> this is the same size as your battery post. <laughs> and it's got one of those good crimps too, so I'm sure it won't come It'll out. Pull right out, huh? Yeah. You're not getting educated on the cheap wires, are you? Yeah. Okay. So here's a quarter inch eyelet for it. I didn't cut that enough. Yeah. This one wants to be a long one. There you go. There you go. Can you figure out a V someplace? Push it in, tighten it. Okay, now that just goes up underneath the dash right here. Boom. So we got a flat washer and a lock washer and a nut. Now with any luck, some of that will actually go to ground. And the horn will work. Uh, yeah, we might have a horn. If it doesn't work, we won't have a horn. 
Now we also have to take the speedometer out and bolt the dash down to the frame. But, yeah. we, did, but we did not shim it, we just bolted it down. Right. That was off camera. Probably needs shimming, huh? It probably needs something. I can see it sits too low right here. Well, you might need a lot of shimming. Look here, I need a 7 16s. Right, 7 16s? Yeah, I'll be in the bucket. In the bucket. That's why there's a bucket sitting there real nearby. Close. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So now, where's our hot water? You had it someplace. Oh, I don't know where you put it. There it is. See if the horn works? The ground is connected right now, I think. Yep, the ground's, the ground's connected. Is connected. Yep, the ground's connected. Actually, it should just work. Nope. Oh, that's great. Good. Maybe it's not connected. Where's our ground at? This isn't connected. The horn one. It's not the horn. Is that the horn? Here's the reason it doesn't work. It's not connected to the ground. So, where's the ground at? Not off the ground wire? Nothing. Why not? Let's turn the ignition on? Nope. There we go. Why are you looking at this? Okay, there's the ignition at home. Horn button up there. Yeah. Turn the switch off. See, it doesn't work. Nothing. Turn the switch on. Look at that. So, see, this ignition switch now works. See? Eh? Okay. All right. Where's the ground wire connected? The ground wire's not connected. It doesn't work. Oh, this is the headlight. That's what that is. Yes. Yeah, so we're on the other circuit right now. Yeah. Hey, we got the horn done. Okay. That's the first thing we got done. Oh, well, we got the tail lights done first. Yeah. We haven't checked the tail lights yet. But the tail lights won't work until I hook this wire up. That's a minor problem. Okay, so let's get the lighting circuit done because it's all separate from anything else. So this all goes up through here. Give yourself a lot of extra wire because it'll probably break. Okay, what do we got here? Where's this wire going to? Oh, this is our headlight. Headlight wiring is all jammed in here. I did have it up here like this. Yeah, I'm not sure where your tanks are going to. That's a dangerous spot. Is it? Where should we put it? Right there. Right there? Okay. There's a room right here for your tank coming through here. Okay. Put it right there then. This here you might get jammed on the dash or something when you're working on it. Right. Cause another pinch. Okay, this has the completely wrong size eyelets on here, so I'm going to cut those off, re eyelet them in. Put eyelets on these. And I think I got more than the wiring I really need, so I'm going to shorten the wire up a little bit. Well, let me see what we got here. Yeah. I'll still leave that for now. All right, so let's cut these off. There's no way we can get these all on a switch unless we put the correct stuff on there. <coughs> we could cheat. Put two of those together. What are those going to? Man, I wonder, that's your headlight. You probably want to replace this headlight wire or something. Yeah. It's pretty crappy. So here's two new eyelets. Really on small <coughs> wire. It's like a 20 gauge wire, that real small one. Jeez. Yeah, you run the headlight with a 20 gauge wire down. Hmm. Look at how big that is. Is that too big? <laughs> That's your light wire for your speedo. Look at the difference between a so speedo same. wire and the other one. I doubt they're the same. One smaller? They're puny. As long as you don't run a 100 watt HP halogen bulb on it, it'll probably be okay. Any more than a candle, though, you might have a problem with your electrical. Hmm. I'm running one of those bulbs that's in the middle of it. Halogen bulb? Oops. Yeah. Yeah, well, that means you're going to burn up your wiring because it's way too small. Is it? Yep. Well, I don't plan on riding at night very often. Good thing. You got no power. Okay, all of these are going to go on through here. So I think I'm going to make that one like that. Put you on top of that. And I'll jam you on top of that one. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to shorten this up quite a bit. What did you make that so long for? Oh, I didn't want to run short. That's right. Hmm. What am I on? Oh, I'm on 20, no wonder. Actually, I was on 24. Hmm. I wonder they want to cut 16. Let's see if I can put an 18 on there. Ooh, look at that, just fit. Alright. Put the nice big fat eyelet on top to act like a big washer. Now you can stack these if you put the flat sides together like that. Right. If you try to go like that, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. Well. Yeah, put two flat sides together and then put the one big side up top. Right. Exactly. Now where's the screw at? You're going to screw with a lock washer. Yeah. See, screw with a lock washer. You're going to... So you look and don't move the camera any. Uh oh. I'm not too much of the. You did the wrong size eyelet there. I thought we checked that eyelet. See, that doesn't work at all. Oh my god. Somebody put the wrong eyelet on there. Put a drill through it. You know how long it would take to do that? Longer than it would be just to get another eyelet. That eyelet just fell off by accident. It all came out of the same container. There's another one right there. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for a longer one though. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're all going to be the same now. So much for that plan. That was a good plan, too. Oh, well. I'm going to make sure it fits this time. Look at that. Oh, right through it. It's like it's made for it. All right. So much for that. I'm still gonna stack these though. But that's all you got to put on that one, right? Yeah, because I'm running out of wire. I'm running out of screw. If I put one more wire in there, it might not work. Where's my? Uh, what is it? Straight blade or Phillips? Does it? It's a straight blade. The straight one? Yeah, you got right it? Here. It's going to be fun to do. There it is. It's, yeah, nice rusty straight blade. <laughs> there. See how they all stack in there nicely? Yeah. It's tight. See how I make sure these don't short up against anything? Yeah. Okay, we should have lights now, boss. Turn it on. Yeah, I gotta have a juice first. Pick up our ground wire. Ground is on. Ready? Really? Turn on. There's the headlight. Lights on there too. Tail lights on? Ooh, look at that. Tail lights on too. Tail lights on too, huh? It's not even smoking yet no, either. No, it's not smoking yet. Either. <laughs> All right, we already checked the high low earlier, so we're, we're good on that. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to leave it on high, aren't we? Yeah, your light is pointing two feet in front of your tires. So yeah. We'll live with it. All right, so we got that part of the circuit done. Let's take a rest break. Okay. Uh, let me see what am I doing here. Yeah. Okay, this is our ignition wire going to the coil. It also powers up the brake light switch. And you're putting that on what now? It's going to go to circuit breaker. Okay, the circuit breaker. So I'm going to run it through here. Put a little bit of extra loop on there so we have a little extra in case something down the road we need it. So a little extra. Screw over there. Okay, that's going to be a 3 16 So we need a 3 16 right there.
16 gauge, reset my cutter. And this will power up our brake light switch also when we connect this up. It powers up the brake light switch? Yep. Now every time I hit the brakes, it's not going to short out, is it? Uh, I, I could do it that way if you want. No, don't do that. Don't do it that way. Oh, I was going to run that through here just for the hell of it. There you go. Uh, my circuit breaker don't have a cut off edge on it, but where's my nose picker piece? Uh, it disappeared. There it is. Special tool. Look at that. There. Keeps that one up there protected because we care about the ignition one. We don't care about the lights not working. We do care about the ignition not working. Yep. Twist right there. So now you got the vibration on that wire. And you got extra length if you need it for repair. If something happens. And this one here, we got to take care of it and make sure it doesn't get. They don't get too far down because the gas tanks come across here. It's kind of tight in here at times. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should give us a brake light. Okay, now these other ones here are going to be for idiot lights. So we've got neutral switch and oil pressure. They go on those two things right there, right? Yeah, we have to put in these two new sockets here. So you need grounds on both of these then too, don't you? Nope. You don't? Nope. These are the grounds. Oh, so you just need a hot wire to it? We need hot, and these are grounds. Oh, okay. So we, these here are the outside of the shell. And these go on to, to, to the switch. And these here are the other piece. These are the centers. Oh, these are the centers? Mm -hmm. And these go on to the ignition switch? It doesn't matter how you do it, but okay. you can go either way. Okay. But, uh, I'll probably run these red ones down to our hot wire. Okay. And circuit brake to power them. And then this here, which we didn't count on, remember you said there's plenty of room in here, remember? Yeah. I remember you said that. Yeah. But remember this goes right here. Yeah. So we don't have quite have plenty of room. It's a good thing I need to tighten this, but zip tie it very tight. And we got to watch out for the up in there. Yeah. See, we had all that room before, but see, yeah. now we forgot to put a couple parts in. So it gets a little bit tighter. Okay, this here can rotate back for now. I left it loose. Okay, so we got a few of these wires wrapped around here. Get that one on that side. Yeah, that's where it helps to have all the parts in here before you do this. Of course, this does not want to go up into your dash for some reason. Aftermarket dash? No, aftermarket slide hole, light socket. There it goes. Yep. It's not in there all the way, I don't think. There it goes. There it goes. Here it popped in. Yep. Okay. And it looks good over there. Kind of looks good. I know about that. My lights, I can see. It's in all the way. It's in all the way. Yeah, it sounds like it went all the way. It is. Where's the other one at? Okay, we did one. We might as well do two, right? You see that nice fancy ground wire we stuck right in the middle of yeah, the right light the socket? Yeah. Who did that? Got me. Fire that guy. Got me. I don't know who did that. Who planned this project? I don't know who planned the project. Yeah, we got the. Yeah, the product engineer sucks. Okay, so what are we going to do here? I'm there you go, right there. I'm going to put it right like that. There you go. I just need a little equipment rearrangement. Whatever happened to that guy that went to New York you built that bike for? No, oh, he went you to New York. You ever heard from him? Uh, it caught on fire a couple of years ago. Is the bike did? Yeah. Hit it? <laughs> yeah, he's under his house one day. Next thing you know, the garage is on fire. Jesus. Something under the, his saddlebag or seat with a bunch of electrical crap he had underneath there and it lit off. I think it was something inside the saddlebag lit off. He had all sorts of electrical shit on it, didn't he? Yeah, he had a bunch of oh, like, you shit. cell phone power things and crap like that. 
Uh, he didn't have stereos and shit like that in there. We had other stuff in there. Anyway, something shorted and caught a fire and caught the seat on fire and kind of burnt the center of the bike a little bit. Mm. Not super serious, but enough to cause problems. Okay, that one's on there. Now we rotate this back up. I want to make sure we keep this away from the speedo area. So we're getting a little bit tight there, but we're okay. So you got a little bit more busy. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, oh, that was this. That was the light. Yeah, as long as it still says record in the middle, you're still recording. Yeah. Okay. A little minor... Distraction? A minor issue there. Okay, so I'm going to take these two wires, put a little loop in them, come forward like that, and they're going to get cut right there. It's starting to get a little full of wiring around here. Mm -hmm. So if there's a short, these circuit breakers will shut off, won't they? Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Where'd you buy them? Circuit breakers from you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That one's a Pollock brand. I don't know who's made the, the other one. I don't either. Someone else. Someone else made it? Yeah, bus something. That's probably a good company. Bus stop or something. Okay, we need a 316. And we are on a number on a red. Three sixteenth red. Okay, where is our red? Those things are dinky. The wire? The red feels like a blue, it's so loose. Hmm. Yeah, it's micro wire. Isn't that there. what they used on all the uh, bikes during the 70s? They no. used that real thin wire? Yeah, it was 18. Yeah. This is like 22 gauge or something like that. Okay, I thought we are going to have more wires in this over here. But we still have these other two wires. Yeah, but they go into these things here. I think I missed it by two wires. Did you? Instead of seven, there's five. I'm so glad you put in that other one. Yeah, I still like circuit breaker. Yeah, I'm, still, I'm glad you did that. That way we don't have the switch overloaded. Yeah, it's more protection. Because that's how I've done it before, is overload the switch, and that never seems to work long. Well, you get the same load on the switch, it's just that you you don't have all the stuff junction in one spot to shorten, and come loose, and cause problems. I'm trying to flip this upside down here so I can put a flat lock on there because we're going to be on top. Tight in there now with all that extra pieces we stuck in there. Okay, we got all this hooked up. Yeah, I think we got everything in there. Unless you, unless you forgot something, we got everything. I think we got everything. It's to get tight up in here though. I think I'm gonna try to rotate this toward me a little. Where's my nose picker piece at? There we go. That's why we didn't tighten the zip tie all the way up. There we go. That made a big difference. I'll be able to get one and a half fingers in there instead of just half of one. Yeah, I know. I have a finger in there. I'm trying to get it all that shit. I don't know why these make these breaks with such tall posts on them, but. I guess if someone's going to use them for like we are, putting 18 wires on it one screw up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go back a little bit. Tightening. Seems to be a lot of compressing going on. Well, the door is stuck, stuck five of them on there. 
Is that all? I think don't like that though. Okay, let's try tightening this. Okay, tight. Okay, jam it all back up in there. Okay. Okay, now we just got these two here. And what do they do? Go with the brown one and the green one? Yep. Okay, pull this through like that. This is our brake. This is our neutral. Where's our bulb at from the leftovers? Right here. There's one. Uh, the other one you broke. We got a new box over there. Which box? The new box. Light bulb. Right here. Which one of these is brighter? I like the neutral switch to brightest. Tom is getting a damn bulb and inside that tunnel we can't get in there. Pull these things out to get to put them in. What a catch, huh? Yeah, that's pain in the ass trying to do this with one hand. You have a lot of tension on these things. There we go. Okay, which one's the bright one? There's a difference. Yeah, this one's real bright. Put that for the uh, uh, the neutral switch. And a big difference in candle power on these things. Jeez, I thought this was a lamp. Where do you buy them things? <laughs> Alright, so these we got to put the bulbs in before we install them. Kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, screwdriver. In. Plastic crap. There we go. Plastic crap is in. Okay. Go. Make sure we still got power to everything. Dull and bright as hell. All right, good. Neutral, neutral light's bright. That's really That's bright. That way I can see that thing. And the other one was the oil, oil pressure. Yeah, it works too. My, my oil pressure. That was the. Uh, why is that not on? I don't know. You ain't got it hooked up yet. No, it's hooked up. Is it? Yeah, the light wire. Oh, it should have come on, huh? Yeah, it should have been on all the way up already. Then, uh, it's probably not a good sign for the regulator. That light should be going full song right now. Now it's on. That's the headlight. The oil light should be coming I'm on. Huh? Test that bulb over there, but uh, that bulb might not be no good. We well, we didn't check that, did we? So you can't get to it with this damn shield around us. Jeez, how am I gonna do that? Take this out. Yeah, it's easier said than done. Oh, there's a nut on the bottom, huh? Yep. Yeah, we gotta get something out of the way of doing this. Okay, how's that wired? That went down to this wire down here. I'm gonna pull this apart again. I think we're always going backwards down here. It's the third time we've had this out. Oops. Can we shut it off? No, you stay on. Trying to fix a problem. We're going to test the wire to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we know there's a problem. Okay, where is my hot jumper wire at right now? Actually, that should work with... It 
this should come on just by touching the pipe. The juice, don't we? Yeah, we got juice. So we have nothing. No. No conductivity. Okay. Well, either it's wire wrong and the ball's bad. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wire these two up here. And we'll get back to that. It's probably the bulb. Uh, that'd be my guess, but I don't know. Hopefully it's the bulb, because that's the easier fix. Yeah. Okay, we need to get these uh, up out of the way. Looks like we're going to have to pull these sockets in and out to get fix them. So I'm going to give you lots of slop here. Okay. <clears throat> That'd be fine with me. Uh, I still got a lot of slop on the other side here, too. I'm not going to cut these short either. So we're going to take these and we'll loop them back like that. Give you more. Lots of play. You definitely want to have lots of room if you got to pull this thing out to get these out. So that'll be enough. So that's going to be a splice. Put away because I thought I was done with them. Okay, straight tubing. A couple of insulators here. One and two. Okay, strippers, stripper, 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 right in front of me. It's going to be on that small stuff. What are you playing that light for? I turn it off. I don't care. You're looking at the video, can you see? Yep. If you can't see what I'm doing, you use the light, but it doesn't matter. Micro jobs here. Right. Don't forget to put the shrink tubing on there. Yeah. Not that I've ever done that. <laughs> the next thing you gotta make sure you hook up the right one. Yeah, the right one's the right one, huh? That helps. Neutral is brown, right? Yes. And this is the neutral one right here. Neutral will be the one in the middle. Yeah. So it'll be this one. Yeah. Good connection. Got the shrink tube on that one? Yep. This is our outside one, which is our oil pressure. Okay. Stick that over the end of it. Yeah, it's about the middle. Good. My mom's got tired. They hadn't been using it all summer. Okay, we're gonna check our uh, our <coughs> bulb here. We got to pull that up over here. So I'm, I'm trigging down here on the, the wire direct. So there's some juice. This is full time hot. So if I just go to ground, it should come on. So it's not coming on. It's not coming on. Bulb. You know, bulb or wiring. So the next thing is we take this, disconnect it there, and go up here and 
don't have access to do it that way, do I? Um, Take the bulb out. Ground it and then hit the hot wire oh on no, it. I gotta ground it, socket. Here, hold up. It's hot. All I gotta do is ground this wire right here. Two grounds. This should be a ground. And all I gotta do is touch this to here and it should work. Nothing. That's right to the socket. Yep. Okay, so we have no no power. The bulb doesn't seem to be working. The bulb doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Good deal. But it's the bulb and that, that other part. I don't know if that's it, but it seems to be that's the problem. All right. Okay, I'm going to leave that connected there. Okay, let's so get this out without breaking this one off of my fingers. It looks like there's a wire to me going in that thing. Try and just, uh, try and do it just with uh, just a light. That might be a wire. Maybe something else going on. Did it hit the ground? I think we have the ground hooked up. Oh, no. I took the ground off. Yeah, you took the ground off. Well, that makes it hard to work. In the way around. Okay, what do we got here? You had it hooked up to this. This is a ground. Yeah. Either way, it's not working. Not coming on? That's not working either. Okay, everything I'm doing is not working. I'm getting tired of this shit. Damn water. Okay, I want a ground that works, and I want a hot wire that works. Okay, yeah, that's a hot wire. This is the ground, and that's a light. Wire. The light comes on, so yeah. it might be a socket. Okay, so we know that works. So we know the bulb is good. Well, it just blew. It just blew. You had all that power going through it. It's 12 volt, it doesn't matter. That's ground issues. That ground? Usually ground does that. Or you got an air leak in it. Hmm. And when you powered it on, it just blew. Well, it was working, but it must have popped just so I let go. Yeah. Mm. Not working now. Yeah. Well, whatever it was, it ain't no good anymore. Oh. There's a bulb. We got more. They're just not real bright. Let's see if this one's any good. Maybe those are six volt bulbs. They might have been, huh? That's why they're so bright. They're bright. This is a six volt bike. I bet you that's what the problem is. Those things are bright. Are they? Oh yeah. They're gonna be really bright. See, this yeah. one doesn't blow when you leave it on. Yeah. I bet you those are six-volt bulbs we're using. Were they? That means that one will blow up, too. That middle one? Yeah. No, we changed both of those, didn't we? No, that's the same one that was in there. That's the you same want, one? You want that nice, real bright one. I bet you that's a six-volt bulb. It looks really good on 12. You can really see it. Yeah, but it's going to blow, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to blow. It ain't going to like us. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, now we have power to that. See if it works in the switch. Okay. Well, I want to check the wire. The socket, yeah. See if it works in the socket. Okay, so first it looks thing, like it's crooked. Yeah, well, it's how they go in. No, it's loose. It's loose. What, did it come out? Yeah. It came out. It's coming out right now. I think it's a socket. That socket's no good. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, that's how it is. It's Crappy ass. It's just more than likely it's a crappy ass bulb. Socket's old, bulb's new. It's in there. It's functional, it's just not very good. It's a piece of crap bulb. They don't make stuff like they used to, remember? Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do is we need a ground. So we have a ground. Yep. Now we need a hot. Hot's over here. Now, we need a ground. Okay, where is we going to get our power out here? Okay, so if you touch that to ground, we'll have a ground there. Touch this to hot, we'll have hot here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so this needs to go to ground. 
So just touch with your hand to the case. Comes on. Okay, so we know the wire's connected. Yep. There's the bulb the whole time. So it's looking like it might have been the bulb, yeah. It takes us 20 minutes to figure out the bulb. I know. Yeah. 20 minutes and two bulbs. Okay, uh, that's going to be interesting to do. Okay, let's disconnect the power. I get that bulb jammed back up underneath the dash where there's absolutely no access to it anymore. Okay, so. Want me to take off the, deck, the tank? I'm going to try to come up underneath here, but I'll probably wind up having to take the tank off. Pick a piece up. See, I don't want to make anything easy around here. It might have been six volt bulbs, huh? I bet you there are six volt bulbs. There's six right. volt bulbs. I've never had dash bulbs that bright before. And that middle one's a six volt bulb too, huh? Yeah, so it's gonna blow. Get up in there, you bastard. Yep. Nope. Let me take out the tank real quick. Yep, no access. Alright. Not sure what's working right now. Okay, we had an hour of fun trying to figure out problems that were non existent. Yeah, non existent. Bunch of bullshit. Yeah, the neutral switch wasn't working because the shift lever got bumped out of yep. neutral. Yeah. It only took us a while to figure that out. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is our uh, generator light, and I was incorrect on how to wire it. I actually need to have hot wire go into it you can't just ground through this so you gotta go from here to there so i have to hook up a two wire system just like all the other ones so this will be going to our ignition circuit breaker which i gotta undo up under there maybe and we can just put another nut on it and i gotta splice this into here and that'll give me the should make the generator light work i had to go look in the book to make sure because i thought i was correct the other way but i was wrong can we just put another nut on this one Slide it on and then put a note over the top of it, that way you don't have to undo it all? We could, or I just undo it, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see what they're doing. Cutting and shrinking. So this is going to be the red wire, this is splice. And then we had 6 volt bulbs up there instead of <coughs> 12 volt, which was kind of hard on the bulb. There's another problem. 6 volt bulbs. Those are the original bulbs, weren't they? They were bright though. Those are original bulbs, huh? Oh yeah, they were really right. God damn. So you only lost two out of three. <laughs> original fucking bulb. Oops, well, we know, we know that the uh, six volt bulbs are good for 12 volt for a little while. Yeah. Original bulbs. Sure are bright though. <clears throat> okay. I gotta get way over there. I gotta wrap it around here to get to there. How much length do we need, Dan? I'd leave it all on there. I don't want to leave all of it on there, but... Most of it. I'm going to leave about this much. Thanks, we'll just use them. Right there. It's getting late. Yep. Is that like a sleep 10 o'clock. Is that like a sleep starting to kick in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. Maybe we can get out of here by 12. Uh, maybe. I told you before, I'd be lucky to be out here by 12. Yep. If we didn't have to do all this wiring, we'd done been out of here. Yeah, well, we're six hours in wiring. Yeah. Quickie job? Quickie job. <laughs> For you, it's a quickie job. because I know you usually take your time. Still, you usually take your time well, doing wiring jobs. That shovel, it took uh, five days. So yeah. This is quick. Yeah. She was doing six, more than six hours a day for five days. So. A lot different. Okay, this one's wrong. Okay, this we gotta get over to there, so that should be able to come in pretty easy with a short. I'll leave a little bit of length though. We're gonna leave on the other ones about that much.
Well, the only plus is nothing smoked yet. Yeah. And yeah, we did test the circuit breaker, and we should have yeah. got the coil over there. It worked out. It worked. It, circuit breaker worked. Did its job. Yeah. So nothing, nothing caught on fire. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> yeah, yet. <laughs> it's not running yet. Yeah. I suspect this might have some issues with fire down here. Yeah. That thing. Yeah. See what happens to that when we get power up. Yeah, that'll be the interesting part. Yeah. See if it smokes. We'll see how good it is. Okay, one advantage of this bulb this way, we go right underneath the back side. Well, you gotta heat shrink first. Can I do that? Nope. Oh. You gotta heat shrink first. Oh, shit. Good thing we didn't videotape me screwing up. No, I videotaped that. Oh, oh well. Shit, I videotaped like that. Two in one day. <laughs> Could be a half price day, huh? <laughs> Okay, can I hook it up now? Yep. Okay. It's too short, Dan. Is it too short? Nah, we got plenty of length. We got a lot of length. This one goes way over here. Where's my little small wrench? Now we did put two zip ties on here also to hold it yeah. better. In case one fails, it's a backup. Yeah. That's always a good idea. Of course, this one's only got one on this one. Am I supposed to double up that one too? No, I can just leave it. Okay. That'd be the other guy's fault? Yeah. Probably my fault though, because I left it. It ain't going. It would be my fault though. It ain't gonna go no place. Of course, I did tighten the zip tie up. Yeah. Wasn't tight before. Probably should still put a zip tie on there just for the hell of it. Probably will. You got lots of money. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be broke for the next year. What are you talking about, man? I'm going to owe you $300, $400 a month for fucking years. That's it? Shit, that's all I can afford. Mm. We're cheaper. Shit, if, I, I get, if I had made more, I'd give it to you, man. I'd fucking get this thing paid off. I don't want to be in debt to you. We got to go back to NASCAR. Go to NASCAR? Oh, no, nah, NASCAR. Yeah, I know. I want to call up Mike Green see if he's doing any hiring. Then you have to move down here. Yeah, then I have to move down here. Now, that'd be bad. Then I have to work on your bike more. Yeah, I know. Then you have that's to work on my bike that, all the time. That's not going to work. You have to work on my bike all the time then. Yeah, we can't have that. Can't afford you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now when I worked at NASCO, I always paid you, didn't I? Shit, where'd that work? Go to the hand. When I worked at NASCO, I always paid you. Well, you always pay me. It just takes time. <laughs> yeah, it just takes time. post. It's next to the post, but not on the post. There, there it goes. goes. Heard it that time. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of room in here, so it's nice. I know, I can tell. Yeah, it's real easy. Of course, I'm really looking at what I'm doing. As you can tell, I got both fingers over it. You can tell I can really see what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. You have to have some feel in your tips. Mm. Can't be totally burnt off. The wire is near there. All right, now if we get this whole thing to go down deeper, like that, it'll spin down faster. No, it doesn't spin down any faster. I want to go faster. Okay. Pulling power now. Okay. Good thing I got two zip ties on there. Yep. Alright. Now I gotta go over there and 
get the damn thing to go up in the hole. See, we got these gas tanks mounted yet, too. Yeah, that won't take too long. Yeah, we said that about everything. I don't know it. I didn't believe it then either. At least that went right in like it was supposed to. How, do, how come that works so nice? I don't know. That hole is already wallered out. We leave that that way. We dumped our nut over here. For it's right here. Nut and lock washer. Okay. Gas tank goes all the way in too. That's the plus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somebody put that wire right there. And bang it back there too. And I'm going to it out. Not good, I'm good. It's in. Okay. It's in. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it works yep. great. Yep, that's grounded. Yeah, that's neat. Hook up the ground wire yet. Want to hook it up? Yeah, hook it up. Oh, ground, frame. Right to here? Yeah, you do. I can't get it. Alright. Ain't much of a ground, but kind of a ground. There you go. All three? Yeah, we got all the lights are on. You have to put the camera up higher. All three. See, One, if two, you rotate three. Rotate this and look up high. You can actually see it working. Okay. All three of them are on. Look at that. Tatro, you're the man. God damn. It's not smoking yet. And it's not smoking either, is it? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Is it hot? It's not running yet either, though. Well, it's already burning the last guy because the last guy was smoking already. All right.